Hey everybody. I'm at my old 1960s Clousing Mill, which is a wonderful mill. 8520. It's, it was uh, made in Kalamazoo, Michigan, probably around 1965. They're about half the size of a Bridgeport milling machine or a vertical mill, but uh, just as accurate. It's about 800 pounds, so it was a chore to get into the shop. But for slotting and cutting certain things, making certain parts, uh, it's unparalleled. I don't need to put this, this guitar neck blank into a uh, jig and use a hand router, for instance, to route in the uh, strip, which is what I'm doing now. I have this all set up. It's a beautiful piece of figured maple. Quarter sawn, vertical grain. I've been air drying this wood for probably six or seven years in my shop, so it's as stable as it's ever going to be. And rather than putting an, uh, an adjustable truss rod in, I'm going with a carbon fiber core that uh, increases tone and stability over a flexible adjustable truss rod. When you build a net correctly, you don't need to use an adjustable truss rod. And uh, the tonal rewards are amazing. So this is already locked in place. And rather than spin this 300 or 400 times, if it were a smaller piece, I'd use the manual cranks. But I have an auto feed. I was very fortunate to find an old Clousing mill with an auto feed. So what we're going to do, put the, uh, make sure everything's plugged in, and turn this mill on. Bring this down in front. Safety purposes. I'm wearing goggles, but I always like to have a screen in front. I'm going to lower this down to the correct depth. I'm going to lock it off so it doesn't move up and down. And now I'm just going to hit this, and we're going to start our uh, our auto feed, and it's going perfectly along the line I drew in the center, at exactly the right depth for that carbon fiber rod. You cannot do this kind of work by hand this accurately. And this old mill from the 60s has tighter tolerances and a better feel than the newer machines coming out of China. And uh, I paid about 2000 for it probably about eight years ago. And boy, it pays for itself every year, I'll tell you that. That is a perfect, perfect channel for either a truss rod or a carbon fiber rod. And it's going to turn itself off automatically. I have a stop right here. It'll go up against this so that I, yeah, I can't go past my mark. You'll see in about maybe another 10 seconds or so it'll, it'll stop. At this point I'll turn off the auto feed and lift the bit back out. There we go. Any second now. Perfect. Turn off the machine. Lift out that bit. That is a wood carving bit, by the way, not a not a uh, a metal one. You can't really see the the rod right now, but uh, it's in there. Always turn off the machine. I'll be right back. I just wanted to. Uh, show you and clean out the sawdust here but the channel is just beautiful looks like it was cut with a laser beam so right now it's hard to see that I'll see if I can lean in the tripod a little bit but it's full of the sawdust but there's your channel and it goes all the way from there to right under the nut so there you go, Clousing 8520, 1960s vertical mill, used in this instance for routing in a carbon fiber rod.